everybody, it's gone! How you doing? I know, it's been a while, but I'm back. I actually, I was given attitude about my videos. Well, okay, not in a bad way. The deal is, my boss says to me, randomly, when are you going to post another video? And I'm like, uh, I've been busy working. She's like, um, yeah. And I'm like, lovely. One little thing to mention here. Missy! I'm sorry! Here's a video! Anyway, yeah, cold beans. <laughs> Allergies, aka hay fever. So I have to do this. I gotta figure out a story. So, but in the meantime, I would like to give a quick update as to I apparently got some really good things about my um bids. So people are liking the comments. So, um, aside that. I will say, with all the grass mowing, and the lawn care, and the weed pulling, and the pruning, and the raking, and the mowing, and the raking, and the mowing, and the mowing, and the... You get what I'm saying here? A lot of mowing. Well, I have become quite familiar with what poison sumac, poison oak, and poison ivy, and this really neat wannabe poison called Virginia Creeper. Now... I didn't know it really wasn't poisonous. It is. It's a very low thing, but anyway. So, I got that on my legs, which I have to use this one. My, I, my girl up in Carrie, she gave me this. See? Hey, Daddy, spit me. So, but yeah, this is mine. It removes removes poison oak and poison ivy oils. It's really cool. I like this stuff. It looks like... A very cheap version of ranch dressing without the parsley flakes. Or is it celery flakes? Either way, there's no green specks in it. And it smells like something from a 1940s medicine cabinet. But anyway, so, aside that, my nails look terrible because of all the pulling I'm doing, so I've had to fall in love with nail builder and these things. Which, there's actually an extra scraper here. I have to condition my nails because they look like crap. Like, they're nasty, and I fell in love with the block. This is kind of cool. You can tell I've been using it. It's got little scratchy stuff, yeah. Anyway, and cuticle oil, which I've only used a little bit of it. You can tell this, I'm using it. It's down a little bit. Anyway, so, side that. Now, moving on to what I'm going to do here. I'm supposed to do a video because, again, my boss is like, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'll do one. So, I had to find one that would be kind of cool to kind of blow some suntan up your ears. So, here's a cool, sweet, little, short one. Not real long. I'll keep it simple. I went for a walk one day in my neighborhood. And I live, where I live at, I'm by a golf course. And I was walking one Sunday morning. There was nobody around but me. I'm like, any birds in the whole town. I was like abandoned. So, I'm there like walking down the road. I went down into town to turn around to come back along Route 36. Which is like near me, but not. But it is. It's there. I'm not... I'm not on 36, put that way. I don't, my address is not on 36. It's on the hillside. Anyway, so what happens is I'm walking along by the little, by the YMCA, there's a little bridge there, and there was like these plastic bottles, like a water bottle, and there was like four of them, so I picked them up. I'm like, okay, cool. They're on my fingers dangling. Don't know who's been drinking out of them, but they're there on my fingers dangling away. And I found a, like, a Gatorade bottle, and, like a Pepsi bottle. And then I got a Coke bottle. But now I've got, like, my fingers are, like, bottles are hanging off my fingers. And I'm always putting my fingers in holes. So, what happens is, I get more. I'm like, you know, I could really use a bag to put these in. What'd you know? There's a bag. Put them in a bag. Walking along, more junk. I keep picking up more. It's Sunday morning at, like, 7 a.m. More junk. Keep acquiring more junk. More junk, more junk. I'm like, I need a box to put this stuff in. Well, you know, there's a box sitting there. And it was an Oreo cookie case. Like, what, the shipment box comes in? Well, I put all in there. I'm carrying this box down 36 towards Altoona. Carrying it. And Peter, 
<laughs> Carry you along. And I keep going, and I, this box is now falling over, and I'm like, I need another bag. When, you know, every time I thought I need another bag or something, one would pop up. I get back to my, like, probably halfway, I'll say, to, like, halfway point. And a cop <laughs> pulls over. I'm going, oh, another cop. I'm always in talking to cops. I always do. I like my mother. She always runs into someone's. Someone she knows, like a cop of some sort, like, it's weird. We can't go anywhere. They're like, I know him. I went to school with him. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, really? You went to a small school district? I can't imagine you know that many people. I'm very much wrong about that theory. She knows everybody. She went to vote tech for crying out loud. She must have ran into the masses that are now running out to Because she goes, oh, I know your mother. I'm like, now she works for this company I work for. So everywhere I go, oh, you're a Joyce kid. I know who you are. I'm like, okay, whatever. Oh, there goes my hat. Anyway, yeah, I cut my hair. Well, Adam did. I'm supposed to be spiking it up, but... Yeah, so. Ha! <sighs> cool, huh? Magic. Anyway, so I'm walking along, and a cop pulls over. And he gets out and goes, is everything all right? And I went... Well, yeah, everything's fine. He went, what's all that? And I'm like, I went for a walk. I looked at him, I'm like, look, I went for a walk. Just a walk. W-A-L-K. Four letters, real simple. One foot in front of the other. Shoe Leather Express. Take your pick. And I'm like, and I happen to pick a couple of little pop bottles up. Water bottles. Next thing you know, I have a monstrosity of a box that is just running over with stuff. And... He's like, I see that. And I'm like, well, I said, if, he said, you, it, I thought maybe he'd be nice and take some stuff. And he's like, well, I could like take some, I'm like, you know what? Back there, about a quarter mile, someone's window blew off a vehicle, like a regular house window, like it fell off a truck and it laid there along like the road. And I'm like, could you pick that up, please? And he goes, I would, and he pops up in the truck, and there's all these, like, radios and stuff, because I was taking these into the blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, fine. So he leaves, and I'm walking with my junk. Walking and walking. I'm picking up at every five feet. I was picking up something. People in Pennsylvania need to keep things in their car. And if you have so much junk in the back of your car, like some of these cars I've seen, they're just loaded up. It's like a hoarding thing on wheels. Keep the windows up and don't let the junk blow up because people like me, the good Samaritans of this county, try to pick up stuff. But anyway, I was just picking up a few bottles. Next thing I know, I have so much junk, I cannot hold it all. And I'm walking like this. Let's get a visual here. I'm walking like this. Well, not like this, but my arms are extended. Anyway, I come home. I put everything in the garbage. Like, well, I, I'm, not, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I did recycle what I could. Some stuff you can't recycle, like tar paper that has been laying in a ditch for months. So, anyway, just as I'm putting everything away, apparently the cop, I'm, I must have told him about where I live because he came up the street and he pulls in. And I'm like, mind you, there has been some time lapse between when he took his four foot pulled in and then he pulled in and I'm like and he must have saw me carrying all my junk to my house and he's like hey um I ran back and grabbed that mirror and I'm like you did he's like yeah I'm like you grabbed the mirror and he went yeah pop the trunk there it is I'm like so we unloaded it and I had to put it in my garbage I'm like really <laughs> so but yeah he did what he asked what I asked him to do so protect him Sarah yay go you so that was that little situation. Now, those of you who had that all taken care of. Now, here's a cool little situation. This past weekend, very quickly, I went to Pittsburgh with Adam. We went out to the point with all the water, like with the three of us meet. They call that the point. Got it? And we went, walked downtown. We enjoyed ourselves. We went down to my mom, Kai, uh, tubing down the river where she has her camp at. She's got a really, she actually has like a double lot. Like, She's got a big spread, like, in fact, when I went camping when I was younger versus the space she has now, it's huge. I bet you could fit, if you wanted to, in her camping area, 
I mean, there's trees and stuff there and all, but you could probably squeeze, well, I bet you could squeeze a dozen vehicles there easily off the road. Like, I mean, to get back to where she is, if you don't know where it is, you're not going to find it. Like, you actually have to know where she lives, well, not live, but where her campsite is. She's right by the river. It's a beautiful river. It's right on the, it's, it's really nice. And that's a good, she's got a big camper on it. Like, this is not no little, like, Winna, not Winnebago, but like a little thing. Like, this is, whew, it's big. It's fair size. In fact, her area, because it's so big, that I didn't know where the boundaries were. I'm like, where, what do you have? What's all yours? And she had to, like, put little UR hair maps up because I was, like, getting lost. So, yeah. And then we went down and went tubing with Adam. He never went tubing before. So we're tubing on a river, and he learned what it is to go down the river and get goosed by a rock. He's like, yeah! And I was like, hey, you found a rock. <laughs> so that's the fun of going tubing. So we went and did kebabs. Here's the thing. I was building a fire while we were trying to for the kebabs. And I did a little teepee thing and put some, we put bark charcoal stuff under it, and I put lighter fluid on it, okay? I'm not a boy scout, but I know that lighter fluid works with a little bit of, you need a flame. One of the little, like, game flame things. So, he goes, and they all sit down, and I'm like, well, I'll light it. So I took another piece of kindling and put, like, lighter fluid on the end of it. So it was like a big match. Unbeknownst to me, it ran underneath the wood and down to my finger. I didn't even feel it. I lit it, and there's supposed to be a match turned into this, and it starts running down it. This is the mind you, I'm spelling this out in, like, two seconds. It caught and started trailing down, and I'm like, ah! And I throw it into the fire. It bounced past the fire. I overshot my target. I run like Southern Bell here running out. My sequins are flying everywhere. I go over, I'm like, pick up, throw the fire, and, like, you know, and Adam's looking at me like, what? It, all I found from them, what they were laughing their butt off about, what happened was, what they saw, their point of view, was behind the one thing that was blocking me, they couldn't see me from around the camper, all they caught was this fireball arcing across the campsite into, well, what was supposed to be the fire pit, and it moved past it by about that much. And I'm like, ah! And I mean, this thing's flaming. I threw it in a big poof, but we had kebabs. They were good. We're going to do it again real soon. But we had, we had fun. I do that. So, anyway, I'm going to go do whatever I gotta do to get through my day, but people want a story, so there you got a little story, you got my kebab firing flaming ball thing, it was actually interesting, in fact, I didn't even plan for that to happen, it just kind of spontaneous. Toodles. Keep rocking, people. I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>